Welcome to today's lesson in numerical analysis. So we are going to go through the singular value decomposition, um, which is um, known as the SVD, so singular value decomposition. So the singular value decomposition of a matrix A is the factorization of A into the product of three matrices. And so it is given as A is equal to U D V transpose or U summation V transpose. So where the columns of U and V are orthonormal, U and V are orthogonal matrices, and the matrix D or sigma is um, a diagonal matrix with positive real entries. So with singular value decomposition, what we do is that we have a matrix A and we try to factorize it into a product of um, these three matrices here. So right now, the problem is how to find our U, our diagonal matrix, and our V matrix. Then we can find the V transpose of it. So that's the next thing we talk about. So how to get U and the diagonal matrix and our V transpose. So you should know that we said our E is factorized into a product of these three matrices and also this relation holds. So the first thing we do is that we find E transpose E. And after finding E transpose E, then we find the eigen values of E transpose E. When you find the less, so in this case, we are just considering a two by two matrix. Okay. So when you find the eigen values of E transpose E, you're going to get two eigen values, lambda one and lambda two. And remember, we said that with this particular diagonal matrix, the entries are positive entries. So that means that our lambda one should be greater than zero, and our lambda two should be also greater than zero. So our two eigen values should all be um positive. Then our lambda one mostly we make our lambda one greater than our lambda two, but you can ignore this. But in some cases it holds. In some books they ignore that. But um it's very important if you let this hold. So your lambda one should be greater than your lambda two, or your lambda two greater than your lambda one. So when your lambda two is greater than your lambda one, that means here you have lambda two here and lambda one here. So um our singular values. Let's say the first singular value, sigma 1, is the square root of the first eigen value. And the second singular value is the square root of the second eigen value. So these are what we call the singular values. So this is how we get our diagonal matrix. You see, it is very simple. Then the V, so our V matrix is also... Um, found with the columns of V. Um, so this is a column one, this is a column two. So you can see that here we have V1. V1 here is the eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value lambda one, and V2 here is the um, eigen vector corresponding to the um, eigen value lambda two. Then we try to normalize it. But we said it has to normal sets, so that's what you can see here. Then to find for our u, I must refine our u from this particular formula here or from the mean formula here. You can find for your u because you already have your e from the question, been able to find for our sigma, our v, so that means we can find for our u. So mostly that's what we do. So let's take an example to illustrate what we've done so far. So you're supposed to find the singular value decomposition of this particular matrix here. So the first thing we do is that we find A transpose A. I hope you remember. So that gives us this particular matrix here. The next thing is that we find the eigen values of A transpose A. So in finding the eigen values of A transpose A, we use the formula, the determinant of A transpose A minus lambda i equals zero where our i is the identity matrix. So we get this particular matrix which we are finding for the determinant and when we find the determinant of this, we get this characteristic equation and when we solve it, we get our lambda 1 to be 80 and our lambda 2 to be 20. So here we can see that our lambda 1 
is positive and our lambda 2 is also positive and also our lambda 1 is greater than our lambda 2 so you can see all the conditions are satisfied that means that our sigma matrix is giving us this that we have here and when you simplify it further you get this and that means our singular values for this particular matrix to our um, 4 root 5 and 2 root 5 I hope you understand why so this and this okay so that's our diagonal matrix so after finding for our diagonal matrix, then we said with the vein, that's our vein, and the columns are just the eigenvectors corresponding to those two eigenvalues which has been normalized. So we then find the eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues. So when lambda 1 is equal to 80, there's a corresponding eigenvector. Remember we find it using the formula e minus lambda i v equals zero and when you normalize this v1 here that's v1 over its magnitude you get what is here oh you get it's very simple because the magnitude of v1 is root of 1 squared plus 3 squared which is called root of 10 so now we have this thing here then when lambda is equal to 20 the corresponding argument vector is negative 3, 1. So we normalize this two and we get this. So that means that our, you know, our V matrix um, is just made up of our V1 bar and our V2 bar. So these are all column vectors. So we get our V to be this particular matrix here. So we just found this. I hope you saw that. All right, that's great. So let's move on. So now we are just left with our u. So now finding for our u, we said we can use this formula or this formula, but mostly I prefer this formula because it's so simple to use and I think it's better for me. All right, so this is our u from the question. We are using this formula. This is our u, which we don't know. So u11, u12, u21, u22. And this is our diagonal matrix. We found it already. And this is our vein, we find it already by the transpose of it, as you can see here. Alright, so when we do this uh, matrix, matrix, matrix multiplication, we end up with, so this is our A, we end up with this. So when you do your matrix, matrix, um, matrix multiplication, you end up with this particular thing here. So the next thing what we do is that we compare matrices. So by the equality of matrices, it means that... Um, our 5 here is equal to whatever is here our negative 1 here is equal to whatever is here our 5 here is equal to whatever is here and our 7 here is equal to whatever is here so then we are going to get 4 equations with um, I think 4 unknowns yes so making comparison we get this equation and when we solve this first 2 equation um, you know, this is just a system of two linear equations. So you can use simultaneous equation to solve it. Either the method of substitution or the method of um, elimination. Or you can even use the Gaussian elimination or any of the methods that you've learned for solving systems of linear equation. So when we solve this system here, we get our u11 to be 0 0.7071, just 1 over root 2. And we get u12 to be negative 0 0.7071 which is the same as negative 1 over root 2. Then our next set of um, linear equations is this that we have here. Then when we solve this, so we solve this for u2, 1, and u2, 2, 2. And when we solve this system to, we get u2, 1 to be this, u2, 2, 2 to be this, and which is the same as this. So that means that we can get our u matrix, right? So our u matrix is this particular matrix that we have here, because remember, uh, u was given as u11, u12, u21, u22. And this is our u1, this is our u2, this is our u21, and this is our u22. So that means we are good to go. We've done everything the question demands us to do. So hence, our A matrix here has now been factorized into. So this is our u. This is our diagonal matrix sigma. 
in some which you can you see D there and it's our being transpose. So when you are done, then what you have to do is that you have to verify if what you've done is correct or not. So if what you've done is correct, when you find the product of these three matrices here, it should give you back this A. If you don't get it, then that means my brother, you're wrong and you will have to go through what you've done. So fortunately enough for us, when we find the product of these three matrices, we get our A. So that means we are right. So thank you very much. I'm Wade and Randolph, a third year student of mathematics here in USD. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and like the video. Thank you very much.